Hello there my friends, welcome back to the channel, welcome to part 37 of my Monsanto World full playthrough on the PlayStation 5. This is the Iceborne expansion and guys as promised <laughs> we're now going to go to the Guiding Lands. I know it's taken me a while uh, to get there um, but what we're going to do is something a little bit different. I'm not actually going to hunt any monsters out there. And also, the way I'm going to edit this video is like a before and after. Um, also, we need to do this. I may as well read this, guys. Give me a sec. It's, uh, is it going to be... Yeah, it is. <laughs> I was wondering if this was special assignment or not. Right, we need to do this so I can um, push the level cap up a bit. So um, it's called the Big Burly Bash. In which case we've got to hunt <laughs> a tempered um, Brachydeus and a tempered Glavinus. Uh, Brachydeus I'm not really worried about so much to be honest um, after having that titanic battle with the raging Brachy. <laughs> got nothing to fear hopefully. But anyway guys we're going to do this but not just yet. Um, what I'm going to do is... Okay, let me just show you my build real quick. This is purely recon and it's purely a farming as well. So let me just show you this. Okay, the build could be a lot better, but um, I need some better decos. I'm still doing some farming. I'm farming the Wrath of Thunder Descends, where you hunt a Tempered Zenoga. That fight never gets boring, guys. It's it's so much fun. I really enjoy it. But anyway, I've got the Kieran Great Luck, but not really so much for the Great Luck. It's not so much that. It's really just for the slots. But anyway, point I make is this is purely for farming, gathering, um, and picking up footprints, which is very important. You must have geology in your build, if at all possible. Intimidator would be really good because in all the small creatures like Jagrasses and um, Gyros, they they will cause you problems while you're farming. Marathon run is really good for your stamina cap. Uh, well, sorry, not your stamina cap, your stamina when you're running. So uh, you don't lose stamina so quickly. Uh, botanist, obviously, so you can gather more items. Uh, what else is there? Stealth. Stealth is a very useful. Master Gatherer, Scout Fly Range Up, and Scholar. <laughs> so that'll be pretty useful. And um, put a Cold Proof as well, because when you go to the icy region, at least you, you've got protection. You don't have to keep on taking a bloody... A hot drink every single time you know when you're in the volcanic region it's actually not so bad because you just lose a bit of health uh you're in the red but you can always uh, make up for that with a sushi fish or a stero jerky or a mega potion now i'm going to show you how i do it guys how i farm the guiding lands but a disclaimer guys you do not need to do what i'm doing so don't do it the way i'm doing if you don't prefer to what we need to do is, as you know, <coughs> excuse me, I've still got a cold, guys. I'm still a little bit unwell, so I've got a very bad sore throat. Anyway, you see this. I haven't even spoken to this scumbag yet, the tech chief. <laughs> but this is a lot of fun. It's awesome. And um, what I was saying to you earlier in the playthrough is, I only unlock this when I finish or I've discovered the guiding lands. The reason being, when you do it too early, it's like you don't get many items as a reward. But you do get some amazing items. But what it is, the Steamworks gets upgraded once you reach the Guiding Lands. You get 10 times more items and rewards, which is great. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend you do it. I need to do it because, guys, I'm running out of Armor Spheres. And I'm also running out of um, Gourmet Vouchers. And uh, you can get things like melding tickets, etc. All right, and finally, um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to show you exactly how I do things. I try to loot the mining and the bone piles first before I do any hunting. Let me explain why. So this is why I insist on doing it this way. As you know, I've not leveled up the guiding lands. You've got Kulu Yaku, Great Gyros, and Nightshade Paolumi. They're no threats, guys. So when I'm farming, I don't have to worry about Tempered Runa no Gigante, Tempered Kushala aggroing, Savage Joe. Do you see what I mean? So I can just farm in peace. I can t 
turn off the background music i can listen to michael francis um podcast <laughs> in the background you know while i'm farming um or joe rogan or just listen to music but um you know there's a lot of grinding involved once i've looted all of the items uh, sorry bone piles and mining to its maximum i'll stop okay and then i'll show you the routes how to farm it so i'm going to try and do this this may take me a couple of days but i'm going to edit like a before and after in this episode however we are going to add in the uh, other quest as well anyway without further ado guys let's meet over there so i'll see you out in the guiding lands hello hey guys <laughs> check it out um as you know i've not done anything in the guiding land so now i'm getting the tutorial for it <laughs> all right this is my first day guiding lands but it's just pure farming but anyway in the guiding lands examining signs of a turf war can occasionally result in finding special tracks that contain dropped materials from other monsters if you examine these tracks you'll be able to obtain analyze special tracks which serve as pheromones to lure out the monster in question this is really important guys it's it's a lot of fun as well but anyway tracks can also be found by carving or capturing large monsters until the tracks are fully analyzed you'll only be able to tell what species it is but you can analyze multiple species uh, simultaneously for more information on special tracks go to the info tab in the start menu and select check special tracks all right, so analyzing special tracks. There are two ways of analyzing special tracks. Slay or capture large monsters and examine signs of turf wars to discover special tracks of the same species. Destroy large monster parts in the guiding lands. You can advance an analysis once per monster species by breaking one of their body parts. Naturally, breaking parts of a monster of the same species will be more effective. If the body part belongs to the monster you're actually analysing, the analysis will be completed instantly. You may also obtain, <coughs> excuse me, analyse special tracks directly from tempered monsters. All right, awesome. Like, listen, guys, if this doesn't make sense to you, don't worry about it. Honestly, not too much. Now, as I'm just starting out in the guiding lands, analysis progress, it's given us a free bone there. So that's obviously going to be a zanoga but guys you've already seen me hunt as zanoga tempered one at that so oh i didn't eat jesus <laughs> i didn't actually eat anything right one second what do i want um so i'm just gonna oh i know i know what we could get one sec let me just all right let me make sure i've got this right iron carver prevents knockbacks while carving uh very useful but it's not what i want increase the number of research points possibly okay let's go down here right this is what i want reduces the time uh between gathering point respawns so this is what i want actually i'm not sure guys but i think this also factors in footprints um etc but you know like the mining and uh the bone piles they'll actually respawn quicker so i'm going to definitely get this so let's get two of those and uh, what is that? Yeah, we may as well just do this. Wait, 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 wait. Anything here? Cleats, I don't need. Tailors. Oh, this is really good. Uh, feline tailor. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a, a, the maintenance uh, deco or tool specialist. So it's like that. And this one's awesome. Feline safeguard. You can give yourself a free, uh, free cart, basically. Prevents your group being penalized the first time a member faints. So you get a free faint. That's all it is. Okay, anything here? Oh, what's this? Feline gardener reduces the time before certain endemic life reappear. I don't care about that. What about this? Causes certain endemic life to drop sling. Nope, don't care. Uh, feline zoo master is quite good. Basically makes um, rare endemic life appear. So anyway, um, let's do this one. So we'll do that. You just get more research points. Okay, done. So this won't take long, guys. I'm literally going to edit it. So it'll probably be after a day or so. <laughs> I'll give you the... This is the before, and I'll show you the after. Anyway, yeah, collect all of these. 
and it level anyway just trust me guys just pick up as many footprints as you can and um, that also helps your analysis as well now what i like to do is let's let's go here see look kuliaku is harmless right he's not going to attack me unless i attack him i need to hunt him anyway um when i'm ready to hunt you know start getting out in the garden lands and actually doing some hunts then kuliaku is very important to uh to capture or whatever because the materials he gives will help you upgrade your critical eye okay so there should be a bone pile here actually now oh, those are footprints give me a sec guys <laughs> you gotta remember it's been it's been three years since i've done this so all right anyway let's just um let's move on let's go down this way right i'm going to show you this I i'm sure a tutorial is going to pop up once i start uh give me a moment where am i looking should be a bone pile here no that's weird okay wait if you go up this way so anyway you want to go in each region um i'll show you the route here you go check it out so that's my first bone pile okay right weathered crag bone so all of these um are totally unique to the guiding lands um you may need it for materials etc okay um there might be one here there is not no okay so let's go up this way so anyway i'm just showing you the route i'm showing you what's involved and then i'll show the levels um anyway give me a sec what about here there must be ah no there isn't okay it's not always in the same places guys um it does you know kind of randomize okay where are you ah here we go that's what i was looking for this one so the mining and bones are very small at the moment so a crack crystal okay cool now if i go into my map right there you go check it out so um hide quest info right you see that can you see that on the right hand side okay obviously that tree there that's the ancient forest part i've not looted anything there so there's nothing um there so where the mining and the bones are you'll get this uh, bar that fills it's in the white i'm in the wild spy at the moment we're going to go to the ancient forest part in a second but i need to get all of those leveled up until it turns red so when it goes to nearly maximum stop just stop looting for for now and then i'll show you a good route um what you're looking for is dragon vein coal chunks and that's trust me awesome <laughs> it's awesome stuff um but anyway so guys look um i'll do the wild spire part we're gonna go into the ancient forest and then once that happens wait is there a bone pile here there should be all right there normally is one but not not this time and you may run into some um <laughs> very rare endemic life they normally appear here as well uh they pop out the grounds they're called mollies i've only caught them once but um it was actually from here anyway so go around here there should be a bone pile here there is check it out they're very hard to spot so just make sure you skirt the edges of uh the map anyway crystal i see it's getting more advanced now let's have a look let's see if any change has happened well not much <laughs> we're still in white uh the color will be white yellow then red when it's in red that's when you kind of stop so check it out All right, so they increase in level, and you'll need it for crafting, and um, and I'll show you what to do later. Okay, so now that wild spire is done for now, go through this. There's nothing here, trust me, nothing here. Guys, I really like guiding lands. I, I know people say I'm oh, no, to grinding lands, and they don't like it. I love it here. It's like therapy for me when I've had a hard day at work. I just come here, man, and just chill out. It's really nice. And like I said, I'll put... Oh, look, check it out. Signs of a turf war. Here you go. So you need to collect these. So whenever you spot them, try and get them. So we've got analysis progress started for a bird wyvern. 
yeah so i i just put music on um <laughs> podcast joe rogan or now michael francis he's a legend guys he's awesome honestly so anyway keep looting that it's okay crystal right again so you get the message you get the uh principle of this right so now ancient forest mining i've only just started so obviously i'm not expecting it to be um you know going up so quickly it takes time now the reason i do it this way you can do it while you're hunting other monsters if you want to guys you don't even have to do this at all if you don't want to it's up to you but i'm trying as a solo player i'm trying to get all of the you know rewards etc now there should be some mining here funnily enough or bones let's check sometimes over here no <laughs> oh here you go see i knew it all right check it out bone piles so as you keep looting um you'll get rarer um you know stuff from these bone piles of mining okay so let's go up this way Oh, it's more honey. I need that. What the hell was that noise? <laughs> I heard something in the headphones. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, so let's go up this way. There should be some... Yes, bones. There you go. So my only objective is to simply get everything leveled up to red. This can take hours... It could well. It took me last time a full day. Um, my last playthrough three years ago. It when I say full day, okay. How many hours would that be? You know, I took breaks in between. I don't know about a couple of hours really. To be honest, could be more. Could be slightly less. Um, okay. All right. Underneath here, you can find some palicos. Just saying, you know, in case you're brand new to this. Guys, all of this, uh, it's not really a tutorial. I'm not really good enough to give people tutorials. I'm just here to help any beginners, you know. So there you go. Check it out. Bone piles here. I'd like more mining, though. If possible. But, hey, it's RNG, guys. It's, you know, whatever the map, <laughs> the dungeon master decides. <laughs> all right, so let's go this way. So push through here. Okay. Now there should be some mining here if we're lucky. And no, not so lucky. Nah, not this time. Okay. Anyway, on the map, in case you want to know where this is, it's just here. In this little enclosure here. In the ancient forest part. Okay, guys, I'll leave it there. So, um... Anyway, it's, it's hard to explain this now because I'm so early on. I've got the coral region to do. I've got the effluvia, uh, rotten veil region, the volcanic and the tundra. So I've got to do a lot of work, <laughs> basically. So um, there's a lot involved. However, I'm not going to put you through all that, thank God. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is um, you're going to find the next part is going to be um, the Brachy and Glavnus quest. And after the Brachy and Glavnus quest will be the um, result of, you know, all this hard work. Uh, looting all these... Oh, here you go. Mining. Check it out. Nice. Okay, let's have a look at the map one last time. And there you go. So you get the principle. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. So uh, I'll continue on. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Anyway, I'll see, see you guys later. Hello, my friends. Okay, while the other rune bear is uh, busy farming in the guiding lands, <laughs> we're going to do some hunting. This rune bear is going to do some hunting. All right, so um, let me grab some stones, actually, while I'm here. So we've got a tempered Brachydios and a tempered Glavinus. I don't know if they turf war, actually. It'll be quite useful if, they, um, if we got them together to have a fight. Anyway, let's grab a... Alico. Okay, Gajalak only. Okay, let's go here. Who do I want to go after first? Let's go for Glavinus first. Let's do that. 
Oh crap, I didn't make an updated build for uh, Glavinus. What it is, I like using water against him, you know? He's quite weak to water, but um... We'll see how it goes. Uh, where would he be? You know what guys, let me start here. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Um, I'm not really sure who's out there. <laughs> I haven't got enough research, but anyway. Let's grab that. Grab that. Now, don't think I need a cool drink because of the uh, Teostra waste. Uh, Teostra wrist, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Okay, and that as well. I guarantee you, if I select this, my Glavinus gear, I'm going to run into Brachydios. Jesus. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, let's grab that. I have got a uh, Teostra wrist, so we don't need a uh, cool drink. All right, guys. So let's make Glavinus a priority. Hey, if they turf all, even better, but um, we'll see. Okay. That's right. Could be... Okay, Glavinus gashes. Where? Alright, check it out. Okay, good. He's there. Alright, check it out, guys. Okay, I don't even know what's in my mantles, but um, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure whatever I did will be quite good, I hope. Oh crap, I, I remember. He doesn't care, guys, he just doesn't care. No, not there! Oh, you fuck! Please, turn, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, got him. Okay. Get his head weakened. Guys, I've not fought a Glavinus in a long time. But, um, anyway. Oh, damn it. Wrong way. God damn it. Oh, guys, guys. Check it out. Okay, give me a sec. I need these stones anyway. Okay, call the cats over. <laughs> Got you. Okay. Weaken the tail. Oh, crap. Oh, get him, please. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got the tail edge. That's awesome, guys. That's amazing. Oh, damn it. Too far. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't want to tail now. Let's go to the leg, maybe. Yeah, I'll still say it, guys. Glavinus' music is one of the best. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, let me concentrate. I'm always too close. Um, yeah, sorry. I'm too close to his body. I'm trying to get his head. Whoa, whoa, guys, that's a lot of damage. Okay, that's it. Good, good, good. Still too close. Okay, good, good, good. All right, come on, come on. Come on, Emma. Don't let me down, baby. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> All right. He's moved on. All right. I've grabbed the stones already. Let's get these. What are you looting, Emma? <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's grab these. All right. We better heal. Okay, now, um, yeah, okay, I'm going to use this, the crystal trap. I want to save one for Bracky. Ah, shit. 
Oh my god, he's so far away, Jesus. Okay, I've got to re-soften his head. Oh, he's not enraged anymore. Oh, damn it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, please! Oh, God! <laughs> Arsehole. Okay. Him. Shit. Oh crap. Oh crap. These explode. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> okay, we hit him at least. to me oh i need to check the footage man oh crap <laughs> damn it <laughs> I, I should have dived i, I should have dived oh never mind oh uh that was that was not very good was it jesus <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna rebuff and um i'll see you in a minute Hey guys, we are back. Okay, <laughs> a bit of a humiliating defeat there, but um, it's all right. No, no. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you bitch. Okay, right, he's not agitated again. Okay, please. Ah, got you. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, you're kidding. Oh, is he asleep? lazy bastard okay now i wonder if i can let's try this guys I, I don't know i don't know if it's gonna work or not but we'll try okay so if i oh uh, what okay okay good that worked good Oh shit, damn it, I was just trying to stop him. <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll do it now. Ideally, I do want to capture him, so. Oh, sorry! <laughs> okay, anyway. I feel sorry for him, guys. I know he cost me a, a card, but still. Really? Uh, guys, I don't think I've given... Why is he sleeping so much? That I I've given them um, paralyzed to Kuro. Alright, um, okay. <laughs> Alright, what do I do? Alright, let's try this. Let's try this. See what happens. Again, please. Oh, no. I th oh, shit. I think I messed up there. No, I did mess up. It's fine. Oh shit, skull icon. Okay, he's ready. He's ready. Oh, poor, poor guy. Okay, guys, I'll meet you over there when I uh, try to capture him. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, sorry, I went quiet there because I get very nervous when they walk about like this. Sometimes they don't fall for it. They suspect you're trying to lay a trap. Anyway, <laughs> I can uh, breathe easier now. So anyway, next on the agenda is obviously going to be uh, Brachidios. I've already got an updated build for him. Um, okay, give me a sec. Let me think. Well, he's normally... Oh, he's come up on the map. Okay, fine. All right. Um, 
Let's go there. You may as well join me for this. This won't take long at all. If he was very far away, I'll edit the footage so that you'll just find me there. But he's very close. All right. So for this one, I use Capture Master instead of Great Luck because I just, you know, want the monster's materials. Um, so anyway. Oh, Bracky 2. There it is. This one. Jeez, guys, I've got a lot of builds, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, same thing again, pitfalls, and I've still got the Tiosha wrist, so we're good. Alright, anyway. Okay, let's change from Glavinus to Bracky. Damn, I better not use a uh, bomb pod, actually. Let's use that one. I better take a Wiggly Litchie as well. So my dash juice has run out. Where is he? He's quite close. Okay, wait, he's gonna... Yeah, we'll meet him here. Okay, he should be appearing now. Uh, yeah, we better do fire. I should have brought a uh, bloody rock steady, guys, but it's okay. I met your big brother. Oh no! Damn, he's too close to the edge. Okay. Oh, you're kicked! You guys, we need to get the fuck away from that edge. That's really... No, don't collect that. I thought that was a footprint. God damn it, man. Oh, that's so annoying. I, I really hate that shit, man. If you're too close to the edges here... um. The game doesn't let you soften or... Right, there we go. Let's just make this easy. Right. Shit. I don't want to be all day. I've got farming to do. <laughs> no, don't do that. What are you doing? Jesus. Okay, he may enrage. I don't know. Okay, good. No, he turned around, the fucker. Guys, he turned around. Jesus, this is going so well. Oh, God. Damn it, man. <laughs> this is not going very well, guys. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Arsehole. Oh, for Christ's sake. God damn it, guys. That freaking insect got in the way. Oh, my God. I'm getting so annoyed. <laughs> this is really getting on my nerves. Okay. There should be some ammo. Right. Grab that. Okay. Oh, God. Seriously, dude. Come on. I'm the one shoot the one you want. Come on. He seems more interested in my cats at the moment. Alright, where am I though? Okay, please don't turn. Please. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. That took a while. No, 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 no. Come on, please. Get, get some of the softened parts, please. Let's switch into glider. I don't actually remember what's in here. <laughs> okay, you want to insist doing that? Okay, fine. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Arsehole. Yeah, it wasn't a great start, guys. Was not a great start. Kind of threw me off, you know? But, um... 
But hey, that's Monsanto. You have to expect the unexpected. And I suck. <laughs> Alright, guys. So that's that. Let's do that as well. Come on, come on. Okay, see, I saved one of the crystal traps. Um, This one here. Okay, let's get him under here. Come on, come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he missed Eve. Oh, he arsehole. Oh, my God. He's not going to go in the trap, is he? Oh, he did. Okay. Uh, What? Oh, it's this one. Shit. My bad. Okay, I've got to really soften his head. Uh, what? Hey, what's wrong? Oh, no, I'm asleep. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> you fucking gadgelackers. <laughs> Our souls. Thank you, Kiro. <laughs> Guys, I can't breathe, man. All right, how do we do this? Um, okay, let's do that, maybe. Uh, let's try here. Maybe he has to hit this. He did, he did. Good. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, again? What the hell am I not hit? Oh. Jesus, Raging Bracky doesn't have, like, um... Anyway. Oh, crap. Okay, okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, no. <laughs> Boy, that's tell. Thank you, Kiro. Have I broken anything yet? This Brack is a tough son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, nice. Nice. Okay, grab that. Okay. Uh, should we try his tail? Oh, well, I'm not going to bother. Forget it. Whatever. Oh. Oh, I'm used to... <laughs> Guys, I'm used to raging Bracky. Um, he does three times the... Um... Whoa. Okay. Wait. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Yeah, no. He... Sorry, I'm used to fighting uh, Raging. When he does that, when he does the second one, I can actually do a um, Flush Claw uh, counter. Alright, I need to take this uh, mantle off. Yeah, get a quick heal, why not? Whoa! Okay. Let's try and weaken that at least. I've got to say, this this Bracky is really fighting hard. I admire that. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's going to blow up. Okay, here we go. Oh, for crying out loud, man. I don't know why my lance always keeps hitting um, non-critical points. Ugh, anyway. Right, Bracky material, where is it? I'll probably see it during editing. Guys, you know what? Forget it. Let's just <laughs> let's just not waste time. Oh crap, here it is. Go away, gadgelackers. All right, are you enraged? Yes, you are. You're always enraged. No, not his head. Not yet. I want this. He turned around. Guys, okay, that's my fault. Oh, I'm out of stamina. God damn it. Okay, that's my fault. I need to turn him. When he's facing a wall, I have to expect he's always going to... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Bird, go away. Oh, 
Okay, he's ready. He's ready. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, it's all over. Okay, guys, I'll meet you uh, where he sleeps. I'll see you soon. Hey, guys. Okay, here he is. Um, I hope this works. Oh, for Christ's sakes, man. For Christ's sakes. Okay, let me grab some ammo. Okay, let's try that. Okay, good. We got him. Got him. Quick. Quick. Yes. <laughs> oh, I hate when oh, I hate when they get awkward like that. It's really annoying. But hey, we did it. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you again. And fuck you. Fuck you again. <laughs> All right anyway guys um so this is gonna now break um well break into level 70 onwards master rank 70 onwards um that is a lot of rewards guys okay anyway let's uh, get rid of that definitely took longer than i expected friendship wind resist don't care don't care okay so grab all of that <laughs> i shouldn't have used a voucher guys my mistake Okay, there you go. Guiding Land's region level cap has been removed, but our actual level should go up as well. I'll see you back at Celion. Hey, guys. Okay, I wasn't actually going to show you this. Um, I was going to edit the video where, you know, I do my um, errands, etc., and then I'll talk to you guys, but I'm nearly Master Rank 100 already. How? <laughs> what? Is it because I hunted um, Furious Rajang and Raging Bracky early? Is it because of that? I I'm so confused. I, I don't understand, guys. Sorry, if you guys can help me in the comments. Um, hey there, partner. One investigation. Okay, is there anything for the field team leader? Because, guys, normally what happens when you're at 99... Oh, Jesus, there's, there's some other monsters I've yet to um, unlock. Jesus. All right, we, we need to get the Guiding Lands <laughs> sorted out um, before I do anything. Because I'm at Master Rank 99 prematurely. But if anyone in the comments can help me there, I, I don't know. Um, I don't understand why this has happened. That is so bizarre. Anyway, guys, look, I won't dwell on it too much. It's um, it's not a big issue, but um, there's a lot of uh, monsters that I have yet to hunt still, you know? All right, what was that for? Oh, this. Okay, fine. So um, I have to make sure I do this. I'll get a Celestial Wyvern and print. But guys, trust me, the method I'm trying to show you in the Guiding Lands, mining, etc., will be swimming in Celestial Wyvern and prints. Gourmet vouchers, melding tickets, armor spheres, hard armor spheres and heavies as well. But um, anyway, look, I tell you what, there's nothing really to update you on unless the field team leader says something, but he hasn't. So um, what, what's going to happen, guys, this segment of, of the video is over now. You're going to find me now in the guiding lands and I'll show you the results of looting um you know all of the bits and pieces over there so let me just show you actually real quick just to clarify something okay not that right level two that's the overall level of the region it depends um level one will give me jagras for example in the ancient forest area level two and three i think is toby kadachi and stuff like that um okay let me give you one tip if if you've taken it to level five for example just as an example and you just realize actually shit i'm at level five i need a i need a jagras again you can actually fix the region levels you can do that i'll show you that when when the time arises but it's not important at the moment but you can actually adjust the levels um but anyway enough about that right we'll go back to this so this one here Anything to do with mining and bones has nothing to do with this. Right? Do you follow me? So don't feel if you loot anything from here, it's going to adjust the levels here. 
it won't it doesn't affect anything in this uh list here right so don't worry about it anyway guys um anyway i hope you enjoyed that episode not episode that <laughs> that fight um so my level now is master rank 99 i don't know what's going to come next uh but anyway you're going to find me now actually in the guiding lands and hopefully i should have got all of the bars filled up to red i'll speak to you again soon hey guys we are back okay okay I've just finished um, <laughs> farming out in the guiding lands while the other rune bear was busy hunting Glavinus and Brachydios. And I'm really disappointed in the other rune bear because he actually fainted against the Glavinus. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. But anyway, guys, this rune bear has been busy farming out there. So let me show you what we've actually done. Okay, let's get into the guiding lands map. Right, as you saw, and I've already explained this um, already, I'm doing this in a sort of different order. You know, normally you just get out there and start hunting. But I don't want the levels to go up yet. I haven't hunted a single monster um, in the Guiding Lands yet. The reason being... Okay, let me show you. So as you can see, we're on level 1s with everything except for the Volcanic region and the Hoarfrost region. And the reason I think those two levels have increased slightly is because of uh, Raging Brachydios and um, Stygians and Ogre, I believe. It could be that, or maybe maybe it was like that from before, but I, I don't know. But anyway, guys, I'm keeping the levels low because I wanted the mining nodes and bone piles to increase in level. Once you've got to the red... Uh, bar once it all turns red sorry all of the mining and the bone piles will get much bigger you're gonna get rarer materials um there's one very rare um i think it's a bone pile or it could be a crystal i can't remember but it's from the coral region and that will actually help you upgrade um or augment rather do health augment for your weapons uh, and i think that'll be for rarity 12 i believe but um that's in the coral region anyway having said all that guys as you can see everything is uh you don't fill it up to the bar um sorry to the end of the bar itself i'm gonna show you why in a second so what we're gonna do um okay so i'm gonna edit this you're gonna find me over at the guiding lands i will actually do some farming out there so there's gonna be a big time jump and we're gonna end up back here and I will show the Steamworks and why I've done it this way. So I'll see you there in a bit, guys. Hey, guys, we are back. Okay, so let's have a look here. All right, so as you can see, like I said, don't max out everything to the very end. Now, the skills you need for this are, let me show you. All right, look, Marathon Runner is just a bonus, right? It, all it means is, you know, because you're going to be doing a lot of running about. Your stamina will deplete super, super slowly, which is a good thing. Uh, botanist, obviously, uh, so you can get more um, mushroom seeds, etc. Uh, Thunder Attack, just ignore that. Right, here's the, one of the key things, Geologist. Try and get Max uh, Geologist. It will only work if you get a Max Geologist. And the reason being, I don't know if you can highlight it, though. How do I do that? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. But it, look, guys, it doesn't matter. But the, the point is, you want to be able to loot a mining node or a bone pile one or two extra more times. So that's where Geologist comes in. Use a stealth as well and intimidator because you don't want freaking uh, Gyros and Jagras chasing after you and stuff like that. It's really annoying. Um, other things to look out for are Vespoids. They are annoying pieces of shit. But use um, Slinger ammo to just kill them or your Clutch Claw. It's no problem. Um, yes, you could use Anti-Para, but it's not worth it, guys, honestly. And I didn't really have any space for that. I've got Heat Guard master gatherer which is amazing because it makes you you know loot things much more quickly scale fly you still want to be picking up uh, footprints and um scholar scholar's excellent scholar basically um you know increases the research of a monster and the region you're in as well 
So anyway, having said all that, what we're going to do now, guys... Oh, and shit, I need to show something as well. Actually, I'll show you that afterwards. Right, here's the order I like to do it in. Okay, so this is now beginning of the tutorial. I like to start in the Wild Spire Waste. Now, the ingredient you want to look out for is called Dragon Vein Coal Chunk. You want to get as many of these as possible. So anyway, so follow my route. And look, guys, if you find a route that's easier for you, do that. It's not a problem. But this is, this is what I like to do. So anyway, normally there'll be a mining note here. I also need to loot bone piles, but for this example, I'm not going to do any bone pile thing, um, you know, looting or anything. It's just going to be mining only, because after all, that's what we're here for. So anyway, very important, only, and I mean this, only loot this three times. If you don't get a dragon vein, uh, vein coal chunk, don't worry about it. Just move on. Anyway, one. Oh, oh, I got one. <laughs> I got one straight away, guys. There you go. Dragon vein coal chunk. All right, two. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> um, maybe a third time lucky. No, <laughs> damn it. All right, anyway, by the way, uh, the reason I think I am getting more Dragon Veil Coal Chunk is because I've got Kieran Divinity. Great luck. So, look, it could be in my head or <laughs> there's some validity to that. Anyway, so straight up here. And guys, this is all randomized. It's all randomized. So don't um, expect all the time you're going to get mining. So we didn't on this occasion. There's normally one here, but there isn't one at the moment. Or here, maybe. I could be getting a mix up. But whatever. Anyway, so uh, go down here. Hey, Kessadons. <laughs> so anyway, go up this way. Now, the reason I like to do this now and get this out of the way... While the monsters are harmless, you know, um, I mean, yeah, maybe a puke puke might, um, you know, get aggressive, but, you know, put on your ghillie mantle. Look, anyway, here's another one. So check it out. Three times only. One, two, three. And let me explain why you don't loot it further. If you do... Ah, give me a sec. Let me just go in here. Right. If you do keep looting it, you see, let, let's go to the very top. You see the mining for ancient forest. If that bar reaches the end, it's good. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> you bastards. Arseholes, I'm talking, man. Right, where's the other one? <laughs> I power guarded a vest void, guys. <laughs> All right, one sec. <laughs> Get out of here, you piece of shits. Okay, so what's going to happen is um, that bar, if it goes right to the end, it will reset and go all the way back to the beginning. And you're going to have to loot all of these mining nodes to bring it to a red again. So that's why. Um, and if you don't believe me, <laughs> try it out yourself and you'll see what I'm on about. It's really annoying. So you want to keep um, everything out red. Because your primary focus is to just get Dragon Veil, uh, Vein Coal Chunks. There you go. There's another one. Two and three. And that's it. Keep moving on. Now, obviously, this is much slower because I'm explaining stuff to you guys, yeah? Um, when you've got this off by heart, it, this will, I don't know, turn off the music, uh, the, the in-game music. I don't know. Listen to a podcast. Um... You know, yes, I was watching um, Return of the Jedi, <laughs> Star Wars. Oh, wait, hang on. Should be one there. Right right here. Here you go. So I was, I was watching that um, on my phone, which was uh, propped up next to me. Oh, there you go. Look, another one. We're getting really lucky here, man. And one more. Okay, and sometimes you're going to get a rare... Uh, look, Guiding Forest Crystal. See? Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. So anyway, next one will be here i think okay no there isn't one at the moment so anyway see these jagrasses will will make your life a misery if you don't have um intimidator so anyway climb up here hey get out of the way piece of shit get out of the way <laughs> right so climb up here so we're on the upper level of the ancient forest area so there should be okay there, there'll be a mining node there possibly but we're not going to go there yet Okay, where this Vigor Wasp spray is. Keep going up this way here. 
All right. You can go in there for bone piles as well. well when I do this, um, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm showing you the route I take. Afterwards, I'm going to do some farming for about an hour or so, and then it'll be a time skip uh, back to Seliana. So you'll find me over there at the Steamworks. Okay, normally there's a mining node there. Unfortunately not. Not this time. And trust me when I say this would be much, much quicker if I wasn't actually explaining stuff, you know. Alright, so normally there may be one here. There is. Check it out. There's one here. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, there we go. So, go up this way. Another way you could do it is teleport back to camp. But anyway, I want to show the actual route. So, let's do that. All right, so go up here. And it should be, yeah, there you go, a wedge beetle. All right, so go up here. Now, we need to get into the Horfrost area. <laughs> Very stylish. Okay, so we enter this place now. All right, so... I, I love this. I love the visuals here, guys. It's so, so awesome, man. Alright, there's a bone pile, but sometimes it'll be a mining node instead. Okay, so let's go up this way. There might be one here. And there is. Check it out. Okay, one. Got one. <laughs> nice. Two and three. There we go. Okay, next is here. Okay, sometimes here, but on this occasion, no. And sometimes over here as well, but there isn't. Okay, fine. And a big bone pile as well if you need any bones. I still advise you, please, you know, loot bones as well. I need to do it as well. Um, but I'm just showing you the mining only. Ah, uh, here we are. Check it out. There's one here. One, two, three. Oh, I'm an idiot. I totally forgot to tell you. Right, you want to also get a palico as well. So there's one in the coral region. We'll pick up. We'll pick one up anyway. And um, they're awesome because they, you know, whether it be a gadgetlack or bow bow or whatever. Um, Kuro is also going to get dragon vein coal chunks, but the other palico will as well. So anyway, we've done wild spy, ancient forest, and hoarfrost. So now onto this way here. We're going to go to the coral region. And <laughs> Sitsi Sit Sit is here as well. Okay. All right. So anyway. Uh, no, not this time. But sometimes there's a mining node here. But there isn't one at the moment. There's a bone pile instead. So we go down here. And there's Palico. Check it out. So let's grab him. Grab honey. Why not? <laughs> All right. There you go, guys. Check it out. There's a mining node there. So a one, a two. Okay, good. We got another one. Excellent. Two and three. Excellent. Okay. So remember, leave it alone. <laughs> Have your geologist um, equipped, but just loot it three times. So you main maintain all of these levels. It will just remain the way it is. Uh, sometimes there's one here, but there isn't. Oh, here you go. And so anyway, just follow the route I'm doing, guys. And then one, two, and three. Okay, nothing there at the moment. There's a band barrow. But he's harmless, guys. They're not aggressive, you know. So um, the hell's wrong with him, though? <laughs> you okay, dude? All right, so go up this way. And normally there's a mining node there. There isn't at the moment. Up there, you never get any mining nodes where I'm looking now. There's always bone piles there. So, where this honey is, go this way. Now, there's two ways you can go. You can either go this way or this way. I like to go up here. So, where this, I don't know, for reference, um, I don't know, this antidote plant. Okay, go up here. We're now in the Rotten Vale area. And what the hell? Oh, Teradaban! <laughs> uh, wait, is he fighting? 
<laughs> he's fighting a great Gyros. Okay, so anyway, mining note. One, two, three. What the hell? Okay, I thought he was literally about to attack me. Another mining note here. A one, a two, and a three. Okay, nothing. So if there's nothing there, just move on, guys. I hate this freaking... <laughs> Paralysis fucking insects. Anyway, so let's go up this way. Down below. Uh, bones and a should. Oh no, there isn't. Okay, normally there's a mining here, but there isn't. And normally there's one here, but there isn't as well. It's fine. So anyway, move up this way. So just keep it moving, guys. Just keep it moving. Alright, so we enter the volcanic region. So this is the last place. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Again, normally there's a mining there. There isn't in this case. Oh, here you want to collect these guys. It unlocks some um, other monsters for you to um, hunt at will. So if I wanted to hunt, um, I don't know, an Oregon, and you've got enough research for him, you can actually summon an Oregon to hunt if you need his materials. Right, check it out. Mining. A one, a two, a three. Ah, damn it. We were lucky in the beginning. <laughs> All that luck has disappeared somehow. Right, bones. Ah, here we are. One, two, three. Nothing. Wow, volcanic region really sucks. <laughs> okay. All right, there is normally just a bone pile there or a bone pile there, but... Around this corner, there may be some mining as well, but there isn't. All right, no worries. That's the circuit complete, guys. So you can carry on running up here, but what I like to do is I should just teleport back to camp. We should have another camp unlocked, but I don't have the materials yet. It'll be a bit quicker. So anyway, so that's the end of the circuit. All right, so now we're back at camp, guys very important and i need to show you this it's very important okay so item box manage items oh not that sorry ignore me store materials this is very important guys so let me actually let me go back here no it won't show me okay so go into store materials because you could get overburdened with materials and you won't be able to collect any and it's heartbreaking when you do get a dragon vein coal chunk but it says you can't loot it anymore because um, you're full up. Press store materials. Materials will be stored, but press X again or whichever button if you're on Xbox or PC or whatever. So all of those items you were looting will be stored back into your, uh, you know, inventory. So materials stored, so wait for that to finish. Done. And there you have it, guys. I hope that helped, right? I really do. I hope this all helped you. If you have any questions, please ask. Um, if you have any tips yourselves, you know, please, please give that as well. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to continue farming for myself. I'm going to time skip and you're going to see me at the Steamworks. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, we are back. Okay, let's finally speak to this um, tech chief. <laughs> it's been, I don't know, hundreds of hours and I just haven't spoken to him. Um, okay, so this is the Steamworks. Guys, it's not difficult and it's not rocket science. It's actually a lot of fun. The reason I didn't um, come and see him earlier, in my opinion, there wasn't any point because we may as well wait uh, until, you know, we've um, finished the last boss open up the guiding lands because we can now upgrade it he's probably going to give the basic tutorial and then another exclamation mark and he'll say that um you know we can actually upgrade it so let's have a look anyway hey. <laughs> I love these cutscenes, guys, honestly. <laughs> Alright, good, you're here. Welcome to the Steamworks. All of Celian is powered by the steam generated here. 
So what powers the scene works? That'd be you, hunters. Drop by between hunts and lend a hand. Aye? <laughs> Aye, you'll do fine. <laughs> you'll do fine. I'll see you're rewarded for the help. Gotta do your chores to earn that allowance, eh? Right, here we go. Knew it. <laughs> right, tutorial time. Okay, the Steamworks. Power generated by the Steamworks fuels all of Celiana. Industrious hunters can earn items by helping the tech chief with its operation, so be sure to drop by between hunts. Producing steam power requires fuel, which is generated by completing quests or by selecting add fuel to convert fuel items or unwanted ores into usable fuel. So dragon vein coal chunks, right? If you look at the bottom right hand side, okay, we managed to get 121. A giant dragon vein coal, I think you do that through an event, but it, I could be wrong. I think it's um, a, a Zenoga, I think. But anyway, whatever. But um, dragon vein coal chunk will give you a ton of fuel, like a ridiculous amount. But anyway. Right, Steamworks Overdrive Bonuses. So this, these are really cool. Anyway, select Help the Steamworks, then press R2 to begin. Generate Steam Power by correctly guessing a hidden sequence of X, Square and Triangle that changes with each turn. Every match will build Steam Power until the large meter is full. Keep building Steam until you send the Steamworks into Overdrive. Sending the Steamworks into Overdrive will earn you special item rewards. You can stop operating the Steamworks anytime you want by pressing circle. Guess all buttons correctly to kick off a cutscene. A message will sometimes appear at the top of the screen to notify you that the Steamworks are primed for a bonus. Get the sequence of your next guess completely right to light all three indicators and kick the machinery into top gear for a huge burst of steam. Letting the cat out of the bag. <laughs> the Steamworks uh, felines will tip you off to the correct sequence, so keep a close eye on those kitties and the flash of the buttons. Full steam ahead. Guessing the entire sequence correctly will yield a much bigger quantity of steam than usual. So guys, you want to be doing this now. Now that we've got Dragon Vein Coal Chunks and you know how to farm for them, you're going to get thousands of heavy armor spheres hard armor spheres celestial wyvern prints that that's actually the holy grail they're not as um abundant but you know you can still get quite a lot of those gourmet vouchers you're going to be swimming in all these rewards oh and max potions ancient potions traps etc other items but you get the picture all right add fuel <laughs> oh no, do I do do it like this? Wait, guys, am I writing a soup? Yeah, right, check it out. Um, We've got 121 Dragon Veil uh, Vein Coal Chunks. To my understanding, I have a feeling each one is worth 500 steam. Is that right? Because that, that is a lot, man. Anyway, help the steam works. Okay, there you go. So I've got, guys, 69,340 steam. Look, I'm going to do this, but guys, I'm not going to make you sit through the entire sequence. I'm going to play for a bit. I'll time skip ahead and show you the rewards we made. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so there you go. Compliment. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. It's... um, Guys, I get it. Sorry, it's not been upgraded. Give me a second. Um, Let's just do it anyway. Whatever. Whatever button you like in any order you fancy. Get lucky, and you'll get a proper burst of steam for your troubles. <laughs> Here. Come on. For all the help. Work the machine. Oh, Jesus, when did you say we play? God damn it. <laughs> all right, guys, you get the tip. You get the idea. See, now I'm getting all these rewards. Right, this is... Okay, this is... I have to get this right. I did! <laughs> yes! That was a jackpot. So we got a hard atmosphere. It's very addictive and it's a lot of fun. So, as you can see, I'm only getting one item, right? By upgrading it, we're going to get 10 items. Okay, so anyway, we'll just keep going until I complete it, I guess. Light up the lamps. Oh, I got it. 
<laughs> Alright, look at that. The cats will tell you the answer. Okay, square, X, triangle. X, square, triangle. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, we're going to get a nice little bonus here, which is great. <laughs> this is hilarious. Until next time. All right, here we go. Now that cat should actually tell us. Oh, I missed a bonus. God damn it! That cat should give you a clue, but guys, I don't get it. I don't understand what the clue is. Oh crap! I'm not doing very well. <laughs> There's supposedly like a pattern to all this, but guys, I've never worked it out. But um. There you go. So we've got lucky there. Very lucky there. Yes! <laughs> Even more lucky there. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> see, I'm getting more armor spheres. But anyway, like I said, this only will make a real difference once um, we've upgraded it. But I think I have to complete this first. All right, so we're getting into critical mass now. <laughs> Okay. Good. Steam build up. God damn it, K, you're supposed to be helping me out, you bastard. <laughs> see, look, look, see, guys, I don't trust those cats, honestly. Alright, here we go. I'm just doing my way, I don't care, whatever. Uh, guys, in the comments, please let me know is there a pattern to all this? Systems back to normal levels. This not to push it. Ah, shit. Anyway, the red bar, now that the Steamworks is almost that critical, um, we're going to get, like, better rewards now. Come on. Oh, god damn it. Yes! <laughs> Gourmet voucher, yay! <laughs> but the upgraded version, you'll get 10. Anyway, I'm suspecting we've got to complete this first, and then it'll give us the option to upgrade it. Silver egg? Ah, not really bothered. Hard arms for you. Light up the three lamps. Okay, here we go. No! Please! Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> wait, wait. Ah, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We did it. Oh, bugger off, Handler. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right there you go so that's the overdrive bonuses we got a celestial wyvarian print but guys this is why it's so frustrating if this was upgraded we'll get 10 <laughs> 10 of those prints so let me come out of this now okay get out of that now i'm just trying to see he should be upgraded oh maybe i've got to do a quest or something and then come back i don't know but um but guys listen that that's a tutorial done i think this video is going to be quite long but um it can't be helped because there's a lot to kind of cover this is why i've waited and waited <laughs> Because I don't want to just get one reward of each, one celestial print. I want ten. So this is why I waited. And plus we've got a shit ton of fuel. So anyway, I still want to do some farming out in the guiding lands. Next episode, guys, I'm going to try my um, insect glaive out probably in the arena. Uh, maybe we'll do an investigation. And uh, maybe a couple of hunts in the guiding lands, etc. All right, so we're going to do that. So I'm now actually officially going to be in the uh, Guiding Lands and doing some hunts. Anyway, I hope this all helped, guys. It's, this is only for, like, new pl uh, players. If you're brand new to this and you're confused as to what to do, etc. Um, I hope this all helped. And otherwise, hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next one, guys. So thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next part. Take care.
Hey guys, what's happening? Okay, very quick one. Um, all right, I think we can actually upgrade this now. Dora, I'm not going to actually do the thing. Let's just speak to him. We did some proper work on the Steamworks and added something fancy to it. Now you can choose how much fuel you want to use per turn. Excellent. Uh, fill her up with a boatload of fuel and watch the goodies roll in. When you're up to it, give her a go. So fancy a turn on blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. Uh, guys look all this means is we we get 10 times the amount of uh, items i'm not going to bother reading it but you can read that if you want just pause it three two one okay let's get out of here <laughs> all right so adjust output 10 times output that's it it will require more fuel however just bear that in mind but that's why we get dragon vein coal chunks ladies and gents <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to be busy farming, etc. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.